sounds good. I'll make those edits and I'll send that back to you. Um, and then maybe uh, quarterly we can check in with how I'm doing uh, to the plan. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Bye. Okay. I just had a conversation with my boss and we were talking about an individual development plan or an IDP. And rather than just jumping in and talking about the IDP, I want to kind of illustrate what it is to you. So let's take a look. At the next stop sign, turn right. GPS is an amazing thing. When you don't know where you're going, you plug in your destination and it provides you step-by-step -step directions and how to get there. At the stop sign, turn right onto East Shoreline Drive. I know I need to turn right. At the stop sign, turn right onto East Lakeside Drive. And right again. GPS is MAPS version of an IDP. It gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions in order to achieve your goal. But what happens if you don't have or put in a destination or have turn-by-turn -turn directions in order to get to your destination? In those situations, you may still end up at your destination, but it may take longer, or you may find your or you may find yourself in a location that you don't necessarily want to be in. Something like this: the car wash. Or here. We've just seen an IDP in the example of a GPS destination. And that's really what an IDP is. It's a way for us to plan out a way for us to get to our ultimate destination whether that be professionally or personally. So how do we do it? An IDP can be for goals that are super complex, but they can also be for super simple things that you want to achieve as well. And in order to create an IDP, you really just need to figure out where you want to go and you need to figure out where you're currently at. And then you fill in the gaps so that you're able to get from point A to point B. The more complex your goal is, the more in detail I recommend you going. Also, if you have a complex or long-term goal that you're hoping to achieve, say in years, I'd recommend checkpoints in during that time. So if you have a two-year goal at six months and at a year and at 18 months, how are you doing compared to your ultimate destination? So why? That's a fair question of an IDP. Why do we want to do it? Because it works. I've used IDPs in my professional career since I learned about them, maybe five or six years ago. And they've helped me grow both in my current role and to reach higher aspirations and promotions. It's also something that I've recently implemented in my personal life as well, and I'm seeing progress. Now, the last thing that I will say about an IDP is that in order for us to find the most success in an IDP, we need to write it down. But we also need to do more than that as well. A recent um, study was conducted and they found that those that wrote their goals or their development plans down was vastly different than those that didn't. And in this research study, they actually took it a step further. So they had one group that didn't write down any of their goals they just verbalized them, and on average, they obtained their goal 43% of the time. They had 
other groups in between, but I'll save the details there and jump to the last group. And on the last group, not only did they have them write down their goal, they had them write down commitments, have them share their commitments with a peer, a colleague, a mentor, or boss, and then provided status updates throughout the process to that person. And in those instances, they were able to achieve their goal 76% of the time. And I think it's fair to say, if we achieved our goal 76% of the time, we'd be feeling pretty good. So, figure out where you're currently at. Figure out where you ultimately wanna go. Fill in the gaps with the directions that you need to take in order to achieve your goal. Write them down. Share your commitments with somebody else. Share progress with them throughout the process and you will achieve your goal as well. That's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Oh,